today we'll be taking a quick tour around the capital of Croatia in Zagreb. Good morning, it is 3.45 and we made the mistake of doing a 6 a.m. flight out of split. We didn't have a whole lot of options and the airport is a 30 minute ride away. So don't have car access to be able to try to get a taxi. We did schedule one ahead. We need to walk to a different destination. So we're hoping everything is gonna work out okay. With not having a lot of flight options for our next destination, we have a seven hour layover in Zagreb, which is the capital of Croatia. So we're gonna check it out. Pretty early. This may be our taxi. Hopefully. Hopefully. Morning. Morning, Ivan. Okay. Pretty sure we stopped so he could wash his face or something. So cool. We at the airport with an hour to spare. We now need to check our bags. We had a smooth taxi ride, but I'm left with more questions like why did we take surface streets? Why did he wash his face? But <laughs> we made it anyways. Bag checked. We got our tickets. Now it's time to just board the plane. Uh, we luckily had enough time to grab coffee, which is a huge help. I have another mask, like a surgical. We need a surgical mask to get in this plane, but we don't need one to come into the country. So who really knows anymore? But luckily, some gave me one, but then Mary Beth does not have one. Okay. Hi, thank you. We made it to Zagreb. It is now 7 a.m. and we don't have a flight until 1.40, so we'll go exploring. Now that we landed, well, let's switch over to a a nicer camera. But that just looks so much better. It's a downtown center area. And one of the first things you notice coming from a split is that it looks totally different. And there's more graffiti on the buildings. It just has a totally different vibe. We're now on our way to have coffee stop number two. We found a place which had good reviews. Well, in Croatia, Zagreb doesn't get a lot of tourists, or it's not thought of as a tourist destination, but it is the country's capital and has almost 800,000 people living here. And the city is known for having its Austro-Hungarian architecture, so we weren't able to make Austria in Hungary this year, so this will have to do. The main places to check out when you're here is this square. I'm not gonna try to pronounce that. cool that it looks like there's like a fresh fruit and vegetable market. That's where we're staying mostly downtown. We're just walking around, but it looks like there's a light rail system or I guess like a cable car system, which will take you on the city and you also have Ubers. This is the Cathedral of Zagreb and let's show you some footage as I Google history about it. The cathedral opened in 1906 and is a Roman Catholic cathedral and it's actually the second tallest building in Croatia. Uh, the church is dedicated to the Assumption of Mary and the kings St. Stephen and St. Ladislav. Uh, we've made it to this street, and I'm not going to try to pronounce that either. Uh, this street is characterized with homes which have been converted into restaurants and cafes, and the whole area is really cool. If this is any taste of uh, what Austria or Hungry to be like, I would love it there. I 
This is St. Mark's Church, which is best known for the colorful tiles up on the roof. And this is the Museum of Broken Relationships, which has artifacts of failed relationships. Seems like a funny concept, and they have like funny items in there is what I read. I'm not super interested in trying to go through other people's failed relationships, but you maybe want to. We walked around the city, but we do have a lot of signs, which will help you navigate on where to go. We were going to walk down, but we saw one of these gizmos, and we're going to try it out. I had to take the funicular, which is the name of that little guy, but it costs five kuna, which we don't have any money left because we're leaving the country today, and they don't accept card, so we have to walk. Boo. You also have a couple of options of parks to be able to hang out and relax at as well. For some reason the audio didn't work and we stopped to get some Poke Bowls and that's what I was trying to say. The Poke Bowls were just alright but it was nice being able to spice up the food that we were having. We were only in Zagreb for a short time, but we both really liked our time there. We would highly recommend that if you're going to Croatia to check it out. Zagreb doesn't get the kind of recognition that some of the coastal cities gets, which is kind of understandable because the water and the weather there is really great. But if you are in the area, I would recommend checking out Zagreb. There is quite a few things to do and there is a cool variety of buildings and food, as well as things to do while there. Which we didn't fully really experience because we only stayed in the downtown area, leaving a lot left to be explored. Thanks so much for watching, and I hope you guys have a better idea of what to do when coming to Zagreb. And if you wanna see more travel destinations, then you can check out my channel page, or if you wanna be around for when to post my next video, then please subscribe. I'll see you guys next time.